Hello, I'm Rubal Khan from KC Tech School, and the following video tutorials have been created to guide you to use VRVEX, a free virtual robotics programming platform created by VEX Robotics. All right, welcome to tutorial six. Hope you've been having a good time. Yeah. Now, if you still remember what the challenge was in tutorial five, um, we actually went through how to draw that red square. I gave you a challenge, which was to draw two blue diagonals. So you ended up here after drawing the red square, you had to draw a blue diagonal this way, then move this way without changing the red line, and then draw a blue line this way. So you needed to draw two blue diagonals. Now this was how to draw the red square. Okay, we discussed this in tutorial five. I've just added a turn velocity of 100%. I'm not sure if I had that. I just wanna make sure I drive as fast as possible and turn as fast as possible because we all hate waiting for the robot to finish all the movements. Okay, now this is the extra steps, okay? It's not very difficult. So once I finish my square, I ended up here. Okay, so this is the end of the repeat loops. Then I turn right 45 degrees, okay? And that would make you go this way, okay? And then set the color blue, which is obvious. Now drive forward to 2,545. This is the number that you needed to calculate using Pythagoras theorem taking this to be the hypotenuse, and this is a right angle triangle, this hypotenuse squared would be equal to this side squared plus this side squared, and I'm talking about the length. All right, and once you get the square of the hypotenuse, you simply square root that to get 2545. If you don't know Pythagoras theorem, that's okay. Use trial and error, use a bit of a ratio to get that number. It takes a bit longer. So once you get that, make sure you move your robot pen up once you're at this position so that you don't draw your blue line over the red. So keep going this way, before that you turn left 135 because you're facing this side, 135 will make you face this way. And then you move forward for 1008, and then you turn left 135 again, to face this way. Next thing you do, you bring your robot pen down. It's already blue, so you don't have to choose blue again. And then you drive forward for 2545, you end up here. Let's see how this turns out. So that's driving. That's, that's the same thing we did in the previous tutorial. I've just got to go through it again before we do the diagonals. All right, that's now's the final fourth repeat loop. Okay, got it now. 45 degree turn. It's going forward for 254. That's highlighted. Now it's moving the pen up. Left for 135. Forward for 1008. It's going to turn 135 again. Moved it down and it goes for 2545. And there you go. Okay. So if you've done it, great job. All right. All right. So I'm going to stop this. The next thing I'm going to look at for this tutorial is I'm going to show you how to actually use the magnet feature. Now, this is your robot. You've got an electromagnet here. If you activate this electromagnet or energize it, you can actually pick up any magnetic um, disks or any kind of magnetic things that under, that's directly underneath this magnet. All right. Now. So let's first go to a different arena or different grid called disk transport. All right. Which is something different. All right. So this is basically isometric view. You've got disks that you've got to pick up and then you got to bring them back and put them in the different colored zones. So you've got, you've got red, you've got blue, you've got green, stuff like that. All right. Okay, let me start a new project. Okay. okay, so how do you actually use your magnet? All right, in order to use your magnet, you've got to go to magnet. You've got to energize. So this is the block that is important. You've got to energize your magnet to boost. That means you're basically activating your electromagnet. Okay, and then you can start to pick up things that come along the way. Okay, that comes into the path of the magnet, basically. So let's just give you a simple example. So let's say I'm driving forward. This is my position. I drive forward about 700, 2, 4, 600, about 700 would be roughly there. 700. And then I turn left 90 degrees and I go about, let's say I go about 300 so that I pass by at least one of these. Okay, I'm still not energizing my magnet yet, if you realize. I mean, let's make it 350. 
I said drive forward 350 and make sure I go past this and then I energize my magnet and then I reverse so that on the way back I can actually pick up the magnet okay okay reverse it and then your magnet should be attached and then if I want to drop it somewhere along here I can do that so let's reverse to about 300 and then maybe let me just drop it somewhere around here maybe 350 back so it should be somewhere in the middle then I'm going to drop it magnet energize magnet to drop and then let me just get my robot out of the way so that you can see the, the disc being dropped if not my robot's going to be on top of the disc it's not very cool so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn probably turn left for 90 okay and then I'm going to drive forward a little bit so that you can see the magnet dropped I'll drive forward about 200 okay let's see how this plays out whether it picks up um, my idea is to pick up this blue magnet. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, I should have turned the velocity up to 100%, but that's all right. Oh, it's going right, so actually picking up the green. Oh, I forgot to turn on. That's fine. See? So you see, the green is now left there, and then I move forward. So that's okay. Instead of turning left, I ended up turning right. Now, that's okay to make a mistake. That's where you learn, okay? So it's, you can easily get the direction wrong, but that's okay, and then you make a change next time. Around. But anyway, I've... I've done what I've meant to do, which is to show you how to pick up a magnet, how to energize, and how to de-energize, which is to drop it. Okay, now your task, okay, let's go back. Your task is to pick up two magnets, blue magnets, and put them in the blue box, okay? And you are to do this using a repeat loop. So think about how they're positioned, what movement could you repeat from here all the way to here, and then going back here what movement could you repeat okay so that both your blue discs end up here and one thing to take note just like what you saw earlier when you go past your disc and then you energize your magnet ma electromagnet and when you go back it's automatically going to pick up the disc that comes on its way all right so this is a trick that you need to use so two repeat loops all right and i want you to put pick up the two blue magnets and drop them here Alright, so all the best. See you in tutorial 7.